What's going on guys, it's the Bearded Shark and thank you for stopping by and giving me the opportunity to speak to you guys today. Um, today we're going to be talking about a, a special, it's, they're always going to be a special company to me because it's the first company that actually reached out to me to do a review. Um, I'm very thankful for them and that's the Bearded Pup. Um, and so thank you Bearded Pup, thank you Ron for giving me this opportunity and believing in me for giving you an honest review. Um, today we are going to be reviewing, actually we're going to be reviewing a little bit of a, a variety of stuff. So we're going to talk about the Bearded Pup Cologne in suit and tie. We're going to be talking about the suit and tie butter, I mean balm, I'm sorry. We're going to be talking about the Bearded Pup butter in suit and tie as well. We're going to be talking about the cologne scented oil suit and tie and also we have a variety of different things to um, review which is going to be the wingman the biker's blend sandalwood and last but not least got wood let's start off with the oil the oil um i'll go ahead and show it to you guys it does have a little bit of yellow tint and it is uh, a little bit on the medium side um, so a little bit it will go a long way um, it smells to me if I can let you guys smell it just go ahead and take a whiff just just take a whiff you know it smells good don't it it smells just like Giorgi Armani Aqua I, that used to be my jam back in the early 2000s that cologne you know it was amazing and that's what this um, beard oil smells like same thing with the butter and the bomb and uh, of course the matching cologne they all smell alike there's not one that's stronger than the other when it comes to the ball um, the bomb the butter and the oil now the cologne does smell or it is ha does have a little bit stronger um, uh, scent strength to it but overall they're over there neck and neck um, the bomb comes in a little two ounce jar is what I call it. And what I like about this is that, uh, and it's not a big deal and I'm not saying that this is what makes the bomb good or anything like that, but it does have a white color to it or white tint to it to match the jar. And I really like that. Um, secondly as well, um, the butter, it looks like your average butter. So it has that little yellowish off white looking uh, color to it, but it does smell just like the oil and just like the bomb. Um, we also have other scents to smell, which is the wingman. We'll start off with the wingman. The wingman to me, and it to me, um, and it's it's white as well. But in the description, it says it's a cherry tobacco with a little bit of vanilla. Um, I don't, I don't. Uh, I don't smell the the tobacco and I and I don't smell the vanilla at all. I smell the cherry. Now it's not like a strong cherry. It's not like you take a um, I don't know how to say it like a, a cherry bag of cherry and just smush it and dump it on it. It doesn't smell like that kind of cherry. But it's a very sweet but subtle cherry. It's more like a calming cherry to me than like uh, anything else. The next we're gonna talk about got wood. Now, with the mahogany, I mean, with the got wood, I do, I smell mahogany on it real quick, and I just pulled up the website to see what else is supposed to on it, but you have mahogany and teak wood. I don't smell the teak wood. I definitely smell the mahogany, but it's very, very, It's very subtle. It's not. It's not like a loud um, mahogany sound or a smell. Not sound, obviously. Only if mahogany made a sound, right? Uh, next is going to be uh, saddlewood, sandalwood. Now, to this, to me, sorry if I look like I'm sniffing cocaine. I'm just trying to get the scent out of this, and I let I let it sit for. Um, you know, a couple of days after I tried to smell it the first time and I, I've tried smelling it after smelling coffee, beans and all that. 
but I don't smell anything out of that. Now to that, it's supposed to have a, a sandalwood smell and of course a bourbon. I don't smell the bourbon, I don't smell the sandalwood, and I don't know if it's just because that's a, you know, in a smaller container. Um, I tried rubbing it on my skin. I just don't, I don't get a smell out of that at all. Um, so Ron, hold on. There we go. Uh, Ron, apologize. Uh, I just don't get a scent out of that. The next is going to be a Bacchus blend. Now this one, this one surprised me. And the reason why it surprised me because online it's put, it says that it is a leather and also it has a touch of uh, cedar to it. Now you definitely get the, you get the leather right off the bat, but I don't get a, I don't get the cedar smell at all. I get the leather and I like it. It's not a strong leather. It's like, you know, when you go buy, when you buy a brand new vehicle and um, it just, you get that brand new vehicle smell and you, you smell the, the 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 scent of leather it's not that strong um it's like maybe like a two or three month old vehicle um that kind of leather it it smells really really good out of the four this is has the strongest um the strongest scent to me but it's again it's still not that strong so you don't have to worry about like um walk around and people are like oh did you just go and i don't know did you sleep in a leather jacket for five days and didn't shower or anything like that? It's not like that. Uh, the butter. Let's move on to the butter, guys. I really like the butter. Um, you can see it's very, it's very smooth and it comes out really easy. So it's it's got a really, it's really really um, buttery. You can say it's <laughs> buttery. Get it. <laughs> Um, so it it does it does feel like a butter. I know there's some butters that I've tried and they 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 don't really feel like a butter, but they're supposed to be butter and they more like a bomb. So good job on that, Ron. I like the feel and consistency in my beard. It makes it very conditioned and um, throughout the day, throughout the night, you know, it feels conditioned. I don't have to worry about reapplying and I don't have to worry about like after five six hours to go fill my beard and it feels like brittle or anything like that. So I really like the way it feels in beard. The bomb, um, it's also really easy to maneuver and get out. As you can see, that was quick, and I probably barely put any kind of pressure into it. You know, and it, it can't, and all this, like you can see, barely touching it, and it's already like starting to melt. Uh, so the bomb, it, it's, uh, the bomb, it's more like a, uh, to me, it's not a strong hold it's a um it's a light hold so therefore it's not gonna be uh it's not gonna give you that extra strength hold like you guys think or like in some other bombs so for a beard like mine you don't you can see my beard it's very very curly and it's very unruly and it doesn't do any it doesn't do any good for me it conditions it very well but i don't get that hold so to me to me to my style beard, that's not a styling bomb. It's more of a conditioning bomb. Um, so what do I think about the company? I think Ron does an amazing job with his products. I think that he spends good time, quality time, uh, you know, uh, whipping up these uh, the the products to make you guys some wonderful, wonderful things to purchase. Anywhere from beard balm, beard butter, beard oil, cologne. Um, he's also got razors and shaving, uh, you know, shaving kits and stuff like that. And there's other set, uh, scents as well that you can get on his uh, website. But um, my final draw is the oil is really good. You know, the oil, it works very well. It, it conditions my skin. It keeps my beard very, very soft. Uh, same thing with the balm and same thing with the butter. Um, one thing that uh, I did notice that the bombs do not have a strong scent to them at all. They're very, they're very subtle. So therefore, um, with them being subtle, uh, they only lasted like maybe the scent wise. It only lasted like I would say an hour or two in my beard, except for the Biker's Blend that lasted about a good three, three, three and a half, four hours. Now on the flip side, on the the suit and tie. The suit and tie lasted a good six to eight hours, and the oil 
in the bomb, in the butter, and in the cologne. So good job on the um, scent profile on the suit and tie because it does a little does go a long way scent wise and feel wise. Um, one thing I noticed that the bomb is stronger. I mean the butter is stronger has a little bit more of a hold than the bomb. I'm not sure why, but I did get an extra hold on the on the on the butter than the bomb. Uh, and another thing too is I wish that there was other scents in the butter. Uh, you know, I wear my balm in the morning and butter at night. So therefore, I don't really want to smell, I don't want to have cologne scented butter in my beard at night. I want something that's calming or very light to put in my beard. I would recommend making it into the wingman scent and uh, see how that goes. Because that's a cherry, like I said earlier, it's a cherry smell, but it's not that strong. Uh, but... The Bearded Shark does approve, and um, if you guys want to try it out yourself, there is a discount code in below in the description that uh, Ron was nice enough to make. It's Shark15. It's for all my subscribers to try. Um, so you get 15% off, and I mean, I'm talking about his products aren't that expensive either. For a good quality product like that, it's not that expensive. You can get a half an ounce of uh, oil for only $13, um, and a one ounce for, I believe it's 16 and I think his... Um, Butter is only like 12, don't quote me, but I mean, the butter and bomb, the bomb I think is like 15. So that's not even with my discount. So you'd actually even get it cheaper. So what I would do is I'd probably get the the oil sample set, you know, a couple oil samples and see which ones you like the most. And then, you know, I recommend you guys try not the bomb. I mean, I'm sorry, the butter, uh, even though it's a cologne scented and I don't like wearing cologne at night, but it is one of the best butters I've ever tried. So, um, that's it guys. I hope you guys appreciated uh, and liked this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and also like, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if you don't like it. And go on, go on over, head over to my uh, Instagram page and follow me there because I will have a little bit different content on there as well. Um, I hope everybody has a good night and of course, stay bearded.